Hey there, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video and today I have something really really cool to show you, alright? This is instant teleportation in vanilla survival Minecraft aka the ender porter. With the press of a button you can be instantly teleported thousands and thousands of blocks away from your current location anywhere in the world that you'd like all for a really cheap price and it's really easy to set up. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing for free. Trust me, you won't regret it and hey, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like. Anyway, here we go. Instant teleportation in vanilla survival Minecraft. Okay, so before we start, I just want to mention that I am not the one who came up with this. I don't know who the original inventor was, but where I personally saw this was in Ethos Labs' latest vanilla survival single-player series. And at the very end of the video, he showcases this, which is the new and improved Ender Porter design. Now, these have actually been in the game for a while, and the old design looks something like this. This is not an exact recreation, it's just something I threw together in a few minutes just so you could see what, kind of what they look like. So what you do with the old design is you activate a clock, and just for the record, this clock isn't actually fast enough. Well, you do that, you'd activate a clock, which would which would make this uh, slime block go up and down, and you'd throw an ender pearl into the water column. What should happen is it should be suspended, and what would happen is the slime block would keep the ender pearl suspended in the water column, and you could you know activate this piston and make the ender pearl land, and that is the old ender pearl design. Now these technically work, but the problems were that it wasn't reliable and it like it, like it wasn't practical because what happened was you'd unload the chunk and you'd come back into the chunk and then the ender pearl would land without you wanting it to land. So these so these so these weren't weren't actually practical. But that all changes in the new Minecraft snapshot. I tried this in 1.16.1 and it didn't work. So this is actually a pretty recent feature. I'm currently in 1.16.2-RC1, uh, Minecraft 1.16.2 snapshot. And let me tell you, this is really, really cool. So, how you, how you build these, I'll just show you real quick, is uh, you go down 7 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, soul sand, and then water blocks, water sources all the way up, and then you throw an ender pearl in, and boom. You have a suspended ender pearl. And what you could do... If you can have a piston or something, activate it, and boom, you get teleported to that spot. And what's really cool about this, uh, Etho tested this himself, is you could actually leave the chunk, come back, and the ender pearl will still be suspended. You could even leave your world completely, come back, and the ender pearl would still be suspended. And that is exactly why these are so cool. Alright, so, let me show you one of these in action. I have an ender pearl here. Watch what happens when I press this button. Boom. I am instantly tele- I did not cut it all, no, there's no editing magic there. All in vanilla survival Minecraft, I just teleported instantly to this location. Now, I'll mention that uh, redstone does work in unloaded chunks, but the inner porter itself does not. So you could have this thousands and thousands and thousands of blocks away. A redstone you don't have to load with the chunk loaders, but the actual ender porter you do. And so what I've done is I have some really, really basic uh, chunk loaders here. I did not invent these either, but these are really, really simple to make. And what you do is you just load the chunk that the ender porter is in, and you could have like tons of these in your world, and you'll you'll and you'll be fine and dandy. So as an example, I set up a few things here, and also you need to make sure that you have these primed with ender pearls at all times, otherwise, obviously, they won't work. So as an example, let's say you set up a few of these in your world. And uh, you had a few destinations here. So, as as examples here, I have main base, poppy farm, and your mom. And so, what you do is, if you wanted to teleport to that location, all you have to do is press a button, and you would be instantly teleported. And let me show you that right now. So, let's say you want to go to the main base, press a button, and boom, you're at the main base. Now, isn't that so cool? So like I said. You could have these thousands and thousands and thousands of blocks away from each other, and you could be instantly teleported. This even beats the classic, you know, nether transportation systems with ice roads and stuff, because this is instant. Obviously, the longer redstone line you have, the more repeaters you have, 
and you know the more time it's going to take for the signal to go but hey that that definitely beats the current ways of transportation so this is really really cool and if and if you'd like to, a tutorial for it it's really really basic but if you'd like to see a tutorial leave a like on the video leave a comment and i'll definitely be happy to make uh, a short tutorial on this all you need is a chunk loader and the ender porter and you're set these are really simple to make too uh just to have a mine cart go in between a, a nether portal and that'll keep this chunk loaded all right so that it's really simple man but it works wonders and this is something i've always wanted in the game uh teleportation like this and, and it technically has been but i'm really excited because it's actually now reliable and uh it's really really simple to use so that is awesome anyway i think that's basically all i have to show you uh instant teleportation in minecraft it's really cool i'm so excited to use this in my world but uh, yeah go uh, go open a go open the latest snapshot of minecraft and always use this for yourself man it's, it's really cool it's gonna be it's gonna revolutionize traveling uh, if done right and i'm pretty sure it works in multiplayer too all you need to do is you know maybe have a separate bubble column uh for your friend or maybe even i don't know if two ender pearls can can be held in stasis in one column maybe they can but uh, you know you you have one piston so so yeah, so what, what, you, what, you, what you probably do is you'd probably have multiple columns, you could have your friend, you know, use this one, you could have one in your in your base for your friend. If your friend wanted to come to your base, all they'd have to do is press a button, or you could even press a button for them, and they could be instantly teleported to your base, which is, which is really cool. So, so yeah, there you go. Anyway, I think I'm going to let you go for now, but uh, yeah, it's a uh, really cool instant teleportation for little Minecraft. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, leave a like if you liked it, and uh, subscribe a subscription would be really awesome man so thanks a lot anyway uh yeah i will see you later thanks for watching i uh, have a good one